Hello and welcome to uh, another video. This one is actually going to be a bit of an overview, review of a new piece of gear I've picked up. Um, before I start, apologies for any background noise, it's uh, quite warm in the room today. It's been about 25, 27 degrees outside, so it's a bit warm in the music studio, so I've had to open the window. So apologies for any uh, extraneous noises from outside. Um, so, what I've picked up today is um, a black magic uh, SSD USB C dock, and we'll take a close look at it now. And here we are, it's a black magic uh, SSD multi dock. And basically, yeah, just pop one of these in to the drive, F fully hot swappable, so you can unplug and plug in SSD drives. Um, when whenever you want to change them um, you get this wonderful flashing lights to tell you it's active and which one is actually active as you can see there and it's just uh, initializing it connects by USB-C and USB-C they it says that it can deliver up to 10 gigabits per second on one cable now what you can do with this black magic dock you can actually um, segregate them into two USB-C streams so you'll have to have two USB-C ports on your computer and it'll take these two and run them together on one cable and take these two and run them together on another cable or you can have all four on just one cable I've gone for the latter all four on one cable um, you'll see why in a minute because what I did as I just out of interest I decided to do a bit of a speed test just to see how fast we're actually getting from these SSD drives as opposed to the internal drives. So we'll have a quick look at some statistics. Uh, some of you may think, oh, here we go, but bear with me, you'll, you'll understand where I'm coming from. Okay, so what we have here is um, four measurements that I did. The first one, this top one here, top left, is my internal main drive, and you're thinking, wow, that's pulling fast. It's because it's an M2 uh, drive, it's a, uh, a one gigabyte. M2 drive that's attached directly to the motherboard and that's running as you can see 3557 megabits per second which is about the speed that you could expect from an M2 drive. In this top right one here what I've got here is a PCI card because the motherboard I'm using and the case I'm using doesn't really house the normal SSD drives it's either M2 or nothing so what I did I got a PCI I Express card and stuck two one terabyte drives on there and I get sort of between 400 megabits per second ish on each drive so that's adequate for sample libraries that's fine so then I decided let's see what I can do for these external black magic dock and first of all I ran it just on two bay so if you remember that was a either running two on the left or two on the right on its own so I decided to do that on one cable and I got exactly the speeds that I would do if I attached that to an SATA port uh, because what those drives are in there are 840 Samsung 840 Evo drives and they run around 557 megabits per second when you look at the um, website statistics so I'm getting about the, the maximum drive speed so I ran exactly the same test again using it as a full four bay on a USB-C cable and I got about the same hands, same speed and I thought there was no point because I'm maxing out the speed of the drive so I thought for my usage no point in running two separate cables so I'm running it on one at the moment if I get faster drives then yeah I might do it or if I end up sequentially accessing more than one SSD at a time then that's when um, using them as two separate drive base may well prove more advantageous. So there we go, a quick overview of the Black Magic Multi Dock. Uh, if you've got any questions about the actual Multi Dock, pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. There is one thing I do want to say though is when you buy one of these, make sure you have a power lead, which is a normal kettle power lead, three pong. Um, lead and a USB-C cable because it doesn't come with any as I found out to my uh, own detriment um, and be careful what USB-C cable you get because uh, the one that I had didn't even give me USB 2 speeds 
So I ended up buying a, one that is actually rated for 10 gigabits per second um, and guaranteed. And I'm, as you can see, the results speak for themselves. I'm maxing out the speed of the drive. So I'm pretty confident that I have got a full USB-C 10 gigabits per second cable. So be very careful which cables you choose because not all USB-C cables are the same. So there we go, quick overview. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.